What's up, guys? Welcome back to Robux Talk. Let's look at the Buccaneers offense versus that 49ers defense. Yes, the 49ers defense was awesome. They've been awesome all year. But the Bucs, I mean, there were positives. It's not, I'm not getting mad about that. The Bucs aren't as bad as they seem they are. But then sometimes there's a lot of missed execution, misreads. But we're going to go over it. So this is the first touchdown to Mike Evans. You see a little double pump here. You saw this in the Bills game where he literally just, it's one read. It's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. The safety's coming down. Watch Baker give a little pump fake and then throw this on a beeline right to where only Mike Evans can catch it. A little pump fake there, like I was saying. The guy bites. Safety bites on it. Then Mike just goes into that empty space where he was at. There you go. Just throw into the space. Let Mike go up. Only where his guy can catch it. Touchdown Tampa Bay. They literally was, it was this play or nothing. And that's how some of the plays in the red zone have to be because it has to be so fast. You need to get it out. One read and go, and that's it. Make it easier for your quarterback one read decisions, right? And now another way of getting Mike the ball, right? We don't, we only see him go deep all the time. Have him do plays like this, dragging across the field, little quick slants, uh, just find ways to get him the ball in space or just the ball in general. You, you find ways to get the ball to 13 and 14. That's what Canales talks about. So you just have Kate Otten running a little corner route to drag the safety and linebackers out. The, the guy is staying with Mike can't stay with him because he's got to get through all the way across the field. Give space for Baker to throw right here. Let it develop. Uh, Fred Warner in the middle of the field is going after Rashad White. So there's an outlet where he has to go after. So this is going to open up. And this is just a good read by Baker getting it out. Uh, and one thing I've noticed, though, is throwing a lot off of his back foot. And, yes, I know Gedeke's there. But you're going to see later in the, in the film study, he's throwing way too much off of his back foot. And that's why some of these throws are either inaccurate or just not with enough zip behind it. Here's the first play of the game. I like the aggressiveness to give a play action fake here. We're trying to get Mike Evans, but there's a couple things bad on this. Mike Evans with a little route that's like, it's supposed to be an out route, right? Like a, a right angle right there, 90 degree angle turn. Do you think this is 90 degrees? Like that's a curve. That's a big old curve. He's kind of going around like that. That's, that's not a pretty look on a route, first of all, by Mike Evans. And then also, if you want it to be only where your guy can catch it, Let's get it to the sideline. I mean, he's supposed to be running a 90-degree turn, right? Get it to the sideline. Why is this only where the, the other defender can catch it? I mean, that's that was poor place ball. And then another thing, Mike Evans falling back. He's looking for a flag. Where's my flag? But he's falling back into the route when he should be going straight to the sideline. So a lot of wrongs there. Almost comes down with an interception, no call. But also, I mean, don't force something that's not there. I mean, it to me, it should have been there. You have one-on-one -on -one matchup you want. Throw it to the sideline, get a better route by Mike Evans. You get a conversion, but it didn't happen, right? Too many bad things. And a lot of people would say, Rashad White's wide open. What happened? It's first down. Catch 22, yes. He probably picks up five, six yards. There is a guy there. It's not that far away from him. But still, there, that's poor execution by quarterback and receiver, in my opinion. Here we go again. Low snap. First thing you're going to see, Robert Hainsey. That's something we talk about in the, the film studies and in the, the live streams. Robert Hainsey just ain't doing it right there if – consistently at center not just blocking wise but the low snaps high snaps we've seen it too often here like i was saying throwing off the back foot yeah i, I see that aaron sydney's falling back into the pocket massively getting thrown into baker baker's on his butt but let's break it down why is he pumping this look when he's open mike's running again another out route get it get him the ball quickly right so we got it here okay he's going to break right now get rid of it he's even pumping here look at this why pump and then throw off your back foot. No, I want you, when you see he's about to break, get rid of this. And we've seen him time it perfectly with Chris Godwin before, Mike Evans before. This is a fourth down play that we need to convert to stay in the game. Why are you pumping this ball? You know this guy, there's no safety help over the top. You know this guy is man on man with this guy. There's going to be a space. Just throw it to the space. Don't think about it. Just do it. You read the play beforehand. Post snap, you see what you have in front of you. This doesn't get to you if you throw this on time. Like right now, they should have been out, and he's already pumping. I don't know why. Um, it's too late in the season to be thinking, oh, we're learning the offense still. I mean, that is a Baker fault for me, in my opinion. That's a Baker decision-making issue that was at fault there. This one, I mean, Mike's – like I've, I've said this before in the past. Mike's not the best deep ball catcher. Yes, he catches the deep ball when it's on a, perfectly to him, but he doesn't have much jump ball – fight when it's running full speed he's great in the end zone where he just can use his size but if he's running full speed 
like I'm I'm wondering why is he not continuously going? This guy's over the top. Yeah, he stacked him. But come on, give me some fight. Because our, our receivers don't really break free when it's a deep shot. Uh, and these are missed shots right here. Yeah, we're trying to go to number one, Mike Evans. But do we try and go underneath to Rashad White? This is triple covered right here. No. Trey Palmer, maybe. But uh, to me, I want to see a little bit more fight by Mike Evans there. Let's keep going on down the line. And here's him trying to force something that shouldn't be, right? So does he stay on number one a little too often? Maybe so. I mean, the offense dictates, okay, this is my progression one. And do I just continuously go down the, the line through my through my reads? Yes, probably. But if this guy is blanketed like this with three guys, linebacker sheeting more this way, you got a guy underneath that can attack. I mean, they're, they're blanketing him. There's no point to force this ball. And then it's right to the linebacker. It's almost an interception. Should we, could we get it to the running back with this much space? Hell yeah. To me, that's the, your option. The second you see this uh, three guys around him that close, all shading towards him, get get rid of it quickly. Get get the ball to Rashad White. We know what he can do in space. Pick up that first down. This is more than enough space for him to make a move and potentially get that first down, if not more. So that one was a bad read by Mike, in my opinion. And here's what I'm talking about. Throwing off your back foot and holding it too long and double pumping. What's going on here? We got man all across the board, one high deep safety safety shaded towards Mike. I know he's our, our number one. He's our big receiver. He's our go-to guy. Yes, we're going to try and man, get him across. But if you know the safety is over the top shaded towards Mike, you're going to have to, if you're that's where you're trying to go, get this ball out fast. The second you look over, okay, those are all covered. Yeah, oops, here's Mike. You're going to look at this. Weight shift back, get rid of it, zip it out there. You need to. Is he already giving away? Okay, this guy's going to come down in the box. He's going to hit Mike. Get rid of it now. What does he do? Double pump, reshuffle. Like, why? Get rid of it. You know where you're trying to go to. Everyone else is covered. Go to your go to guy. Get rid of it right now. And he holds it, shuffles again, thinks about it, and now gets rid of it. And what's he doing? Back foot. He's not leaning forward. He's not going following through with his throw. People would say again, Hainsey's too far back there. Don't double pump it. Get rid of the ball. Get it on time to where you can get it to space right there. With that double pump, you gave this guy opportunity to get in the path of the ball. What do you know? Boom, right there. Those little things matter when it comes to timing on a, on a play. That is on Baker, 100% on Baker. I'm not going to get bad about, oh, Mike should have come back to the ball. Not on this one. He was going for the touchdown. Baker's needed to get that ball out faster. And I'm a Baker guy. I, I truly like Baker a lot. But that's him poor reading of the field, even though they did well moving the ball against San Francisco, he didn't execute when he should have. And then reading the field, what do we got? Pre-snap. We got one high deep shaded towards the, the trip side on this side. We got one safety kind of low. Are we going to kind of help double Mike over here? Let's see, right? And we usually stay on Mike too long. We look at Mike. We're looking at deep center. This guy's flat-footed. He looks over at Mike to see where this guy is at. Mike has space. Give it to him. This corner is beat already. This guy's flat-footed. Just loft that bad boy to space, get rid of it. And then he immediately goes down to Rashad White. That one, it didn't make sense to me. Considering how much he's been looking at Mike Evans so much, and you have this space with Mike, give that to him. Like, that, that one's a touchdown, if not a massive gainer. I know you you like Rashad White. Again, I'm I'm being the, what is it, a couch quarterback over here, calling it how it is after the game's over and said and done with. It's not in the fire of everything, but still, like, come on. We got to find some continuity and consistency with what we're looking at here again low snap having to pick it up laser this thing out this is some of the good realizing Rashad White is a hell of a man in in space and once you get the ball in his hands he can make something with it but I got to give credit to Kate Otten the guy I've been bashing a little bit check out this block how he turns his whole body anchors down and forces these two guys to get stopped and then you got where's he at Trey Palmer over here to get this block I really like the setups on this check out Cade getting around, turning the hips, flushing it. Look at that. Puts up a wall right there. And then Trey Palmer comes over here and seals this guy out, letting Rashad White pick up a first down. Big gainer here. Great execution on that play. Get Rashad White the ball more often. Look at this again. Look at the blocking setups. Man in motion. Okay, is no one moving with him? No, not really. So we know it's kind of a zone. They go out there, pick up their guys. Mike's on a guy. You got Chris Godwin on a guy. And then Kate Otten's over there hunting for another guy. You're just saying Rashad White beat one man. I like these setups. These are being opportunistic, using your guys to your advantage. This is how an offense should look like, right? 
Uh, keep going on again. I think we got another one to Rashad White here. Nope, we're going to sc scoot up. So I like Baker's pocket mobility. Everyone knows that. Uh, he has that gift that Tom Brady doesn't have, which is quickness. But so Tom Brady knew how to step up in the pocket, work his way around that. But look at the arm angle on this. Nice throw by Baker, considering he, where he's at, throwing that on a whip right there. And then this is where Rashad White hurts the guy with a little putting his foot in the ground, and the other guy goes down to the ground. Uh, and good, quick read of the field. There was nothing open deep, so he got rid of it to Rashad White. This one, I don't know if this is a timing issue. Uh, maybe Rashad White needs to break out a little faster out of his route. Maybe Baker needs to not throw it as far. But this is a good utilization of, okay, I got Rashad White on a linebacker. He's going to cut in. We need to pick up a first down. Get it to him in space. There's the space. Get it to him. I'm not sure if Rashad White kind of stopped on the route or if Baker's leading it too far, but that needs to be a completion right there. There's missing execution plays that need to be done for a consistent offense, and that's not happening. And then good read right here. Look at this. We got a safety bailing out. Hips turn this way. So if Kate Otten, Baker knows what the play is. If Kate Otten's going to be going inside, that's your man. You got linebackers underneath, but if they get even, you got to let this thing go. So the second he gets even, look at Baker throwing this ball because the safety's facing this way. My guy's going inside. I know where my leverage is. Get this thing all out quick. Make him make a play. Catch the ball first, Cade. Catch that ball first. So, I mean, there are plays in this offense that are working, right? They're finding ways to get it, but it needs, it needs to be consistent. Again, here, he's looking in this side of the field. High, deep safety. Guys are really close. I understand why he moved. But check out Cade Otten kind of get open. Breaks open on this route here. Guy stayed in his own. He got space to throw to. I understand why he did it, but finding another open alleyway to Payne Durham over here, big wide open target, get him the ball in space, pick up a almost potential first down. Here's bad. Okay. Cade, you did good blocking. You have a couple good catches. The biggest one you need to catch, you don't catch. I don't, I don't understand this. Hits you right in the hands. Pop. It couldn't have been better. I know people would say it should have been in his chest, should have been in his gut. No, catch the ball, hit both your hands, guys. Uh, so again, breaking it down. One high deep over here, one other one on top of Mike over here. If this is open, you got to hit it, right? Baker just read it well. He's looking his eyes this way. Everyone's shading towards Mike and Chris Godwin. We look the other way. It's going to be wide open. This guy's flat-footed. The safety has outside leverage. Inside's going to be open. Get rid of it. Got it to him. Bang, bang. Should have been a catch. Should have been, what, 21-28 at that point. And here's another good play. I mean, the creativity with the plays. This is a game, a team that stays in it because of creativity like this. And I love the blocking. Look at Hainsey and Tristan Wirfs getting out and blocking, getting to the second level. Hainsey getting a linebacker. You got Wirfs flying to hurt someone over here. Uh, linebacker going nowhere. Look at this block. Holy hell. Tristan Wirfs, my man. And then Kate Otten coming around, blocking more. He waits for this. I love how Devin Tompkins waits for this. like Because he got stuck in the trash here by the defensive end. He waits, slows down a little bit. Cade getting my guy in front of me. Then he gets underneath that, that block, picks up almost a touchdown here, just loses it at the one-yard line. We end up scoring later, but he, amazing play right there by Dave Canales to draw that one up. But then he does something like this. Great play, running the ball. But then Baker reads this, flat-footed linebacker again, safety over the top. I know where my leverage and space is. Look at that, throw it to that hole. Great throw by Baker, perfect throw by Baker. Hits both of his hands. Everyone's saying, oh, that was a hard catch to make. It don't matter. It hits both your hands. You catch the ball. You're a receiver. That's your job, to receive the ball. Catch it, right? Like here. Again, Baker, middle of the field. Everyone said that was his weakness. Middle of the field here when he's throwing into the motion. So look, all, transitioning from weight in the back foot, weight in the front foot, going through his throw, lasering it to the guy, progressing him. Look at that. And where's that deep safety? Where are we looking at pre-snap? Right, we got one high deep safety shaped, shading this way. These guys have to be man, right? And you got linebackers beneath. So if he steps up, you know where you're going. Okay, stepped up. Baker's already, okay, I know where I have to get this ball out to. Quick decision, quick read. I like it. I just want to see it consistently. And it's something you're not seeing with this offense. What do you know? Back, back foot throw. Everyone's going to complain. Too much trash in the way. Well, give me a little shade. Step over to your right a little bit. Make this a better throw. Great release by the receiver here, getting open. I think he just loses this in the lights. And then if he doesn't trip a little bit here, he probably picks up this, this, this football to see where it's at and get the first down. But missed opportunity yet again. Uh, RPO action here. Where are we looking? 
Probably loses it in the sun again, but what do you know? He catches it this time. Trey Palmer, great catch. I like the right route concepts as well. You got two over routes right here by Mike, Chris Godwin. I think they both get covered, so Baker kind of moves off of them both because we're in a little sitting in his zone. This is something where our defense didn't do, and San Francisco's did. They're staying in their assignments. Stay here, stay here, stay here, right? And you have linebackers that can get this deep in zones. Um, Levante David and Devin White didn't really succeed well in that. Look how far back he is, and he's covering Mike Evans. That's something our defense wasn't doing at, at all. And look how far back uh, this one is. That is great coverage by linebackers underneath, right? And then he got it to the only guy he thought was one-on-one, -on -one, could make a play. Trey Palmer comes down with a great catch, great play, great effort. Good read as well by Baker to see, okay, I can't force this issue. I'm going to get it to the one guy that I think I could possibly get a chance to. Big, big throw, because look where it is, too. Here's Baker blocking Nick Bosa. They've had, a, I guess, hissy fits or a pass because of the Ohio State-Oklahoma games, throwing the, st the stake in the middle of the field, stuff like that. Nice to see him blocking on Nick Bosa there. And here's one where good read by Baker. I don't like the, again, back foot throw. Step into this a little bit more. But still, Trey Palmer's got to come down with this ball. Big potential back shoulder throw. Accuracy was actually there considering it was a back foot throw. It wasn't really everything on it. Just have to come down with that. Great effort by the cornerback. You got to give him credit on that, getting his arm between the ball. But still, Trey, if you want to pick up first downs, get the ball more, you got to hold that. This is a massive mistake by Mr. Baker Mayfield. You got a first down. You got everything covered underneath, over the top. Maybe get this out early. Because look how, how early it's open. Get rid of that right now. Throw it short or make him come back. Throw it to where only your guy can get it. If it's not there, either throw it away. Because I don't know what you're looking back at this for. Throw it away or just get down. Don't try and pick up pretty yards. Because that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get the ball out to the, to the receivers, the weapons. You didn't do that. You fumbled the ball. And what do you know? It's 49ers ball, 7-0 already. Going to be potentially 14-0. Uh, we got to fix these things up, especially against good teams. It, th there is potential there in the offense. I, there are things I like, but the consistency truly still is not there. Guys, let me know what down below what you think about Baker Mayfield and this offense. Uh, yeah, it's, it's troubling, upsetting, but the potential is there. Let me know down below what you guys think. And with that said, until the next one.